So today I am doing a quick haul about some of the stuff I forgot in my closet. Well, I was already wearing makeup so I thought why not film a video and I actually got my passport renewed that's why I have makeup on and I don't usually wear makeup because I like my skin to breathe in a day-to-day -day basis. I wear as minimal base makeup as I can and I don't know if you guys realize or observe like I do but for some reason is it a universal law that passport photos tend to be excuse my friends really shitty and that actually really sucks but my photo now compared to the one before is pretty decent so I'll take what I can get yeah intro this is actually a beauty haul in a fashion haul, mini fashion haul. So the first thing I got is this. Not a beauty blender, but a sponge that says it's like a beauty blender. So in the packaging, it says the exact same thing a beauty blender would do, but I can't compare them because I've never had one. My mom has one, but she hasn't tried it yet. So I wouldn't know, but I really love this. I've only said twice, but I really love the application. It's so flawless and very natural. And if you've had a sunburn like I do, I, I've been to the beach, as I've said in my past Christmas haul. If you want to see that, I'll link that down below. And where was I? Yeah, so beauty blenders or sponges are really great if you have a sunburn because it won't affect the peeling skin from under so you don't with brushes you usually swirl but with sponges you dab and it won't affect your skin i suggest you guys buy one or if you want a cheaper one you can just use the real techniques one which i've heard a lot of great things about and then the next beauty product I got is, or are, beauty brush guards. And they are lifesavers. It lengthens the longevity of your brushes. It keeps their shape in your makeup bag and your makeup drawers and adds more space. And it's great for drying. So you guys should buy some or a lot for your brushes because they're also really cheap. The next are a mirror and comb, and they remind me so much of Anna Sui, and I love her. Her aesthetic is basically my style, like gothic bohemian, and they even have, it's basically a dupe, like the butterfly design she has, and it's so beautiful. And I think this is great for traveling, but I will be so, so bummed if it broke. And then I also got a big one, which is kind of like a Beauty and the Beast version. And then I got some hair accessories, which will probably disappear after I use them. And three pearl headbands one is an all white one which reminds me of mermaids one is an all white one with gold beads one is an all black one with gold beads and probably my favorite because i love black and they remind me of the show rain which is historically incorrect when it comes to the plot and the clothes but i still like to watch it even if that's kind of going against being a history buff. And then I got cell phone accessories, which are both skulls. So this is a pirate skull. I love pirates and skulls. And I got a white one with crossbones at the back. And then this little guy, I also got an aqua one. And then I almost forgot this really cool bullet necklace. 
and I am a weapons enthusiast. A lot of people don't know that about me, but I am, if you ask my family and friends. And I love any weapons, modern, ancient, particularly swords. And I also got two scrunchies, which are great if you don't want that um, indent in your hair when you make buns. And I think I got that tip from my friend Chloe, and she has a YouTube channel. It's beauty and makeup and she's really lovely so I'll link her down below as well and speaking of weapons and writing I love to write so I got these ball pens from Wild Writers they're like medieval design and so the swords remind me of Lord of the Rings and I love Lord of the Rings like those elven swords so that is it. Not that's not it. And I got these House of Harlow inspired earrings, and they're magnetic. And I hope they don't fall when I wear them. And they're in cobalt blue, which is one of my favorite colors. And I also got these rings. They're beautiful and delicate, and these crescent shaped ones. Because I love moons and suns. And that's it for the beauty random haul. Now for fashion, I have two crop tops. This one, which I wore in a past makeup haul. I'll also link that below so you know what it looks like. And a black one, which they're like a halter style with crisscrosses at the back and then this chiffon top which is beautiful I also got in black and then this black slip-on which I also got in white so you can pair them with sheer tops or dresses or just by itself with cover-ups and kimonos and then this bohemian dress which has a cutout sleeve and bell sleeves and a tent shaped cut and I'm sorry if it's really crumpled and this dress which I'm obsessed with and I normally don't like florals for a really long time now because they're so overused but this print I like and it's navy from Forever 21 surprisingly it's in medium and I'm normally in small or XS because I'm really petite but this fits like a glove and it has that sort of spongy stretchy material it's like a low cut in the front and it has a peekaboo cut out on the back and I'll do a try on haul for these stuff also for shoes and my beach haul in the future so watch out for that the last thing i got is from my dad and i don't know if you've seen my menswear haul but judging from that i love men's fashion and this is like the epitome of a masculine or a bit of a boyish bag i love the olive tones and the mahogany tones and it's pretty light so it's good for traveling oh, it's really hot and humid so I apologize for my fri frizzy, frizzy hair and my sweaty face. I hope I get to film my beach haul pretty soon because I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. Yeah. See you guys real soon. Bye. Hey guys. I bumped into the wall.